Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you today from our Airstream of DFW location. I'm excited today to show off a flying cloud model with some neat features that I'm sure you're going to be interested in. And to help me with that, I've got Anthony Miller, great factory trained salesman. Anthony, what are we going to look at today? So this is a 2023 Flying Cloud 30FB. It's their buck model. A lot of people have a misconception that Airstreams aren't necessarily designed for the family. This is the perfect Airstream for the family. It's got some of my favorite features. Absolutely. Before we get started, why don't we show off your personal three favorite. Right, my top three. Okay, first of all is going to be the, the amount of storage. It's got a ton of storage in it. Probably more storage than any other Airstream they build. Second is going to be the bathroom. So it's kind of like Mary Poppins' purse. When you look at this bathroom, it's going to look small from the outside. You open it up, it's great big on the inside. And third is obviously the bunkhouse. So you've actually got two bunks in the back, which we'll show you in a little bit. It's a great spot for the family, full-size bed on the bottom, and then a nice small bed up top. Fantastic. Let's get started. Take it away. All right, all right. Guys, like I said, this is a 30FB Flying Cloud bunk model. It's 31 foot front to back. Gross weight's about 8,800 pounds. Dry weight's about 6,800 pounds. So... Maybe a little heavy for some half tons, but most half tons could tow it. So we'll start here at the front, Brian. We got uh, two propane tanks, two 30 pound tanks, power tongue jack. You're gonna see that standard on everything Airstream builds. Uh, two batteries. Uh, along this side here, rock guards up in the front. A lot of people ask what these are. These are simply to keep the front of the trailer from getting dinged up. They're stainless steel. They're a little bit more resilient than the aluminum, but just keep that trailer nice and looking new for a longer period of time. These are the window awnings. So something we always get on our flying clouds here at Airstream at DFW is this window awning package. They're spring loaded, they pull down real easy. They give you some more shade over the windows. They are all sunbrella material. They're not the standard vinyl that you see on a lot of trailers. So if you roll them up wet, you don't have to worry about them molding or melding or fading or changing colors over time. So smart cord, this is something new. They started a couple of years ago. It makes connecting and disconnecting your trailer super simple. So instead of having to screw on like you did those old cords, you just loosen it and pull it off. Simple as that. Also has an indicator light here to make sure that you know that you actually have power at the pole. When you plug in sometimes and you have a power issue, it may not be the trailer itself, it may be the power at the pole. So that gives you that indicator there. Outside shower, something you're going to see on all, all Airstreams. Goodyear Endurance tires. Airstream uses Goodyear Endurance tires on almost everything in the fleet. Classic is your only exception. Uh, really great American-made travel trailer tire. Six-year warranty. Really, really good tires. Uh, another one of those window awnings we talked about. You got a little connection here if you want to run a satellite dish or if you want to run a cable TV. If the park has, has, uh, has cable there, you can use that to get directly into the trailer. Stabilizer jacks, you got four on each side, or four, four total, two on each side. Uh, molded aluminum uh, rear lights, looks really nice. All of your lights are LED lights. Uh, I'll show you this awning. This is another one of those awnings, but this way you can see how it works. That's all there is to it. Really, really super simple. Backup cameras, standard on all Airstreams. Uh, you do have a little bit of extra storage on the 30 in comparison to some of your other trailers on the outside. So you do get the front storage, which I didn't show you, but you do get storage up here in the back as well. So come around this side, a little bit more of that storage, same compartment, but a little, little bit easier access. Uh, tankless water heaters. You, are, you have tankless water heaters on everything in the Airstream line now, something they went to a couple of years ago and your main awning. So the main awning is, again, standard on all Airstreams. You don't have to worry about adding an awning to the trailer. Same umbrella material I showed you on the others. One exception is on the longer trailer, you do have a center support arm. When you do get that awning out, it gives you a little bit more support uh, from the wind and things like that. And guys, if you want, let's take a look inside and we'll uh, see what's going on in there. All right, guys, now we're in the inside of this trailer. Again, it's one of my favorite floor plans. Perfect for the family, sleeps a lot of people. You don't have to worry about making beds down at night if you don't want to, but you do have plenty of sleeping space in addition to the bunks in the back. Uh, a couple of quick things, two airs that standard on all the 30 foot air streams. Uh, we live in Texas, it gets really hot in Texas. So having those two airs is just gonna lend to that uh, cool factor you're gonna get. Another thing I didn't mention on the outside, we do always get solar on all the trailers we order from Airstream. They did move up to 300 watts of solar for 2023. So you got 300 watt solar panels on the roof. 
I uh, mentioned outside, one of my favorite things is storage. You've got a ton of storage in this trailer. You get all these lockers up overhead here. In the galley here, like I said before, lots of storage space. Nice heavy hinges on everything Airstream builds. All the cabinets are solid wood. There is no hollow wood or hollow doors or particle board anywhere in the Airstream. Pretty good sized galley here. You got a three burner cooktop. You got your standard sink here. And one thing you'll see is this is all residential style fixtures. So nothing plastic inside any in the Airstream. A couple of quick things here. I mentioned that solar. This is actually your Victron controller here, so you can see uh, your solar input and output there. And this is the controls for your inverter. So Airstream puts a 1,000 watt inverter. They make that standard on everything they build. That gives you the capability of, while you're running off the, off the grid, you can use your batteries to run some of the plugs around the trailer. So you'll see a few plugs around the trailer that are, that are inverted plugs. You plug in a laptop, plug in a, a small wattage device, and run that off your batteries. Uh, again, lots of storage here. It'll open up all the, you got, a little, got storage there, but you've got these nice two big drawers here. And then we'll move even, we'll move even a, little, a little further back. We've got another cabinet here. Use that as your pantry. And then let's open up all those drawers here. So one, two, three, four. So lots of drawer space. It's funny too, when I look at RVs, you, you know, drawers are one of those things you don't see, you don't see enough of, I think, in RVs. Um, a big, big refrigerator, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Airstream went to 12 volt compressor based refrigerators a few years ago. It allows them to put a bigger refrigerator in the RV. It also, because it is 12 volt compressor based, it does cool off a lot quicker and it doesn't produce nearly amount of, the same amount of heat as the old refrigerators did. It also keeps us from having to put cutouts on the outside of the trailers. So a lot of trailers that have those old uh, condenser coil style refrigerators you would see those ventilation cutouts on the outside don't have to have that with this trailer uh, tvs one thing they moved to for 2023 is all these tvs are 12 volt now i mentioned that inverter earlier that allows you to run these tvs without having to have the inverter on it also doesn't reduce the capacity of that inverter while running your televisions um, thermostat so all your air conditioners are controlled by the same thermostat as well as the furnace one of your air conditioners is also a heat pump. So if you do go into an area where you have electricity, you don't want to run, burn through all that propane heating the trailer, the heat pump is a good option for you there. Got your dinette here. So there are two color options on this. If, you don't, if you're not crazy about the Carolina clay, which is this kind of taupey color, they do have a Seattle mist, which is more of a blue gray color, probably closer to the colors you see here in the table. I've actually got both in stock right now, so you can come see either one if you wanted to. I really love this dinette because you've got a lot of flexibility and movement in the table. So the table will actually turn like this and will actually, uh, let's find the release there. You've got a release here too. So when you go to sit down at the table, you can actually move the table around. If I'm sitting back here in the back, I've got space to sit without the table being up, in, up into my stomach. Or if I wanted to turn and watch television, I can move the table over here like that. This also makes into a bed. And when you make it into a bed, you just release both of these struts and push that table down and then use the various cushions around there to, to finish that up. Now this doesn't make into a bed traditionally, but obviously somebody could sleep there if they wanted to. Just pull that cushion away or somebody could sleep just like that. So back to storage. Again, lots of storage there. You got three more cabinets overhead as well as your stereo. And what Airstream is now calling your bring your own entertainment option. So there used to be Blu-ray players in these trailers. Not a lot of us have Blu-rays anymore. So for 2023, they eliminated the Blu-ray. They gave you a little bit more storage up here, but they also added an HDMI connection that goes directly to the televisions. And I don't know if you can see it, an inverted plug. I'm not sure where it is. But there is an inverted plug in here too that you can use to run off the batteries if you want to. Uh, let's hit this. Let's show the storage on here too, Brian. Got your tub there, which is nice, makes, makes storing things easier. And then you've got storage on both sides of the dinette as well, this and that side. I guess your bedroom here. So queen size bed. Now one thing about the bunk model, this is kind of unique to it, does not offer the twin bed option. So I get that question sometimes. You see that a lot in Airstreams where they offer either twin or queens, uh, twin or queen. Uh, with this model, you cannot get the, the twin bed. So it's just a queen option. Uh, more storage up here overhead. 
And Brian, you may want to grab that too. You do have a TV in here also. So actually three televisions in this particular model, one in the bedroom, one in the living space. And then you'll see back in the back, there is a third TV back in that bunk room area. You do have plugs on both sides of the bed. You do have USB connections on both sides of the bed and you have lots of storage under the bed too. Both those tubs and these tubs, you can get to these tubs while the bed is still down if you want to. So if somebody is sleeping or you don't want to have to disturb them, you can actually get to that storage there also. All right, guys, now we're going to move back to the spot we all want to see, which is the bunkhouse. Uh, before I forget, guys, we didn't talk about this in the galley. Convection microwave combo. That is an option on the Airstream. There's not a lot of options on the Airstream, especially this 30-foot bunkhouse. But this is one of the options. We actually upgrade that from the standard microwave to a convection microwave. So it functions as either a microwave or an oven or an air fryer. Just three different things. Uh, did, we show, did, we, did we show the storage over here, Brian? So that would be your work as your uh, hanging storage for clothing. And then you also have all these drawers as well. Nice big drawers. While I'm down here, I'll go ahead and open this also. So we have storage underneath the bunk also. I don't know if you can see back in there, Brian. It goes almost all the way to the back of the trailer. All right, and the bunk area. So full-size bed down below. No weight limitation on that bed. Easily could sleep two adults. Two kids, really, really easy. And then you've got the one bunk overhead. Now, that is really a children's bed. It is 150-pound capacity, but... One of the main reasons people buy this trailer is because they are going to camp with their family. So it's a great bed for the kid, kiddos. And they've got their own television back here. And I don't know if you can get into it, Brian. There is a little storage around that corner there. So kids like to bring their own doodads and things. It gives them a, a, a place to keep those. And then you heard me mention outside the bathroom. So let's take a look at that too. Nice and deep and big. I got I to gotta step in the shower. That's my, that's my thing, Brian. Like I said, I always tell people, I'm six foot two, so I'm going to step in the shower. You can see that my head doesn't even touch the ceiling. Uh, so i got plenty of space. It's, it's, it's big. It does have a seat in the corner, so if you are even taller than I am, it gives you the option to sit down. Or if you've, you know, if you've got an issue and standing is, is an issue for you, it gives you the ability to take a shower and not have to stand the whole time. Toilet. Now, this is a little bit of an oddity in this particular trailer. It does have a macerator toilet. Most Airstreams don't, but this particular model does just because of where the toilet is in relation to the tanks. It just ensures that you get full elimination from the toilet to the tanks. Uh, not a lot of controls in here, but they do keep the hot water heater controls in there. The nice thing about that tankless water heater is you can control the temperature. You can adjust it up and down. If it's too hot, it's too cold, you can adjust that temperature also. Got a mirror, got a towel rod, got plenty of lights, and you've got a vent here in the top. All right, guys, that's it. 2023 Flying Cloud 30FB, one of my favorite floor plans that Airstream makes. Perfect for the family, but hey, if this isn't right for you, don't let that stop you from seeing us. We make everything from 16 to 33 and everything in between. Great, thank you, Anthony, appreciate it. And as always, don't forget to click like and subscribe below. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this one. As always, we appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any recommendations on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed our video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Airstream of DFW.